Hello and welcome. It's always a good time when you're talking Hello. to the cool and sassy Sara Ali Khan. Thank you, ma'am. So, I mean, are your shelves weighed down with trophies now? Best debutant of the year and all that's happening? No, no, no. Uh, there's a lot of weight and hopefully many more to come and then it can get weighed down. It's too soon now. But the way things are going, it's likely you'll have need to have a separate room full of shelves. No, you know, I have to tell you that I think that I have been given a lot of love and a lot of appreciation from a lot of people and I'm very, very thankful for that. So IFAS, where it was like a debutant ball for you, wasn't it? It was like your first IFA professionally, yeah, though you have uh, traveled with your dad yes, on a couple yes, of occasions. Yes, I have, I have, I have. So first IFA memory, any starstruck moments? I mean, it was, starstruck moments have happened earlier only, but it was so special because I think it's the first time that IFA has come home. It's the first time that I was nominated. It's the first time that I attended, I was performing, you know, walking the red carpet, all of that, performing the same time as like Ranveer Singh and Madhuri Dikshit Naam and also, it was amazing. So what was the live performance like? Any performance anxiety and all? Tell us a bit about that. I don't remember the last like 45 seconds before going on to stage. All I remember is like my stomach was like really tight and I was like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. I'm a nervous kind of person. Uh, I get very nervous very easily. Really? But yeah. doesn't seem so. But I enjoy it. I think that's why. You know, I think that... Um, Nervousness is great if you know how to channelize it, you know, as long as you're not like freaking out and ripping your hair off, which I'm very close to doing very often. But um, it's all good, you know, like, you know, you, you should be nervous and then you go on to stage and it, you know, converts itself into adrenaline and then excitement and then it's done. And you danced to your dad and mom's like songs, yes, so what that must have been yes, special. It, it was, it was, you know, because I was very um, keen on making this like a special thing for me. It was my first performance. And I was like, you know, what can I do to make it even more special? And I said, like, I want a, you know, medley of songs that nobody else can do. And I unfortunately don't have that many of my own songs <laughs> as yet, you know, hopefully one day I will. Um, so what better way than playing, you know, paying a small tribute to mom and dad. So but you had said, as a child, you loved dancing to numbers by other actors. Did your parents' uh, playlist ever feature in those dance numbers? Yeah. I've, I've, I've loved dancing in general. I don't even think it needed numbers. I used to dance on like Nirma's commercial. Nirma, Nirma, washing powder, Nirma. I, anything you play, I can dance. So, I mean, sir, I, I you said you'd always wanted to be an actor even yes. when you were studying. Yes. So, uh -huh. I, do you actually feel you're living the dream or has the, you know, the reality of where you are suddenly has struck you? I think I'm living the dream. I really, really think I am, you know, I mean, Every part of my job touch wood and I don't differentiate one from the other, you know, I think performing on IFA, doing an interview, uh, doing a scene, doing a song, it's all part of my job and I love all of it. You know, I think that I'm so truly, truly thankful and privileged to be in the situation that I'm in. I've always dreamt to do this all my life and like there are moments, you know, nowadays where I wake up in the morning and I'm like, what do I have to do? And it's, you know, either getting ready for a song or getting ready for a shoot or flying to Delhi for an interview to talk to you. And all of it is just so exciting and I'm so grateful for it. So you don't want any downtime on or anything? You know, honestly, like very honestly, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I'm a very restless person and I like having a full schedule because I just don't know what to do with free time. Oh. I, I, I mean, you know, every now and then, of course, it's great to have a balance, you know, like there are moments where if you've shot like 10 days in a row, you're more than happy to spend Sunday sitting at home with mom and eating ghar ka khana. But more than that, I don't want right now. I know what's really interesting about you is someone who has the ability to laugh at herself. You make fun of yourself. I mean, is that the way you are? I mean, you know, a lot of people have two selves, one what they portray to people. And one is the public self, one is the private self. So in Sarah, is it the same? See, I'm a cheap deal that way because <laughs> you get what you have and you have what you get. Like, it, that's it. There's really not much more to it. And I think that, you know, it's a lot of people have given me undue credit for being real and being myself but I think that actually I'm the coward because anybody that does it otherwise requires a lot of guts man because you have to keep putting it up then every interview every public appearance you have to be that version of yourself that's very stressful mm -hmm. I think it's just best to be who you are and then it's easy to maintain you know and I've grown up with a single mother you know who's always advocated just being uh, confident and honest to who you are because more than anything else the job that we do they are rolling cameras around us all the time you know you'll get caught if you're any less than 100% honest and why why would you be and that's something that's so endearing about you too. and it was a spectacular 2018 two films that did phenomenally well so you managed to get the critical acclaim and you got the commercial <laughs> acclaim also so soon 
And now this year, we have seen you working on two sequels. What is it about you and sequels? Listen, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. We'll have to ask David Sir and Imtiaz Sir what it is about sequels. But um, I, I, again, like you said, you know, they're both very different kind of films. Yeah. And I'm very uh, lucky and privileged to be able to be in this situation because my favorite, I mean, there's not one thing that I can, you know, pinpoint at, but I think my fav the favorite thing for me about my job in general is that it allows you to live so many different lives so honestly and so truthfully, you know. And I can't tell you how being in Delhi or Himachal Pradesh with Intia sir or being on like a colourful set with David sir, I mean they're worlds apart in terms of experience and they are both so fulfilling, you know. So I'm really so, so privileged to be able to be in this place and I can't wait for next year because, you know, in the first six months of next year, hopefully both these films will come. And, um, Hopefully people will enjoy them like I'm that. I'm sure they will. And I think there's an invisible genie because I remember you saying in an interview to me, you wanted to work with Karthik Aryan, Varun Dhawan. I, I, I say this, I actually say this that I could have asked for anything because I've sat at promotions uh, you know, at the risk of offending Sushant and Ranveer and gone on and on about Karthik Aryan and Varun Dhawan, Karthik Aryan and Varun Dhawan. And here I am being like, is this really happening? So yeah, those moments do happen. But who is it? Tell me quickly. What do I I uh, can't say anything, I can't say anything. No one else. Mr. Bhansali is coming. Granted. Yeah. Granted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how is Love Ajkal different from the one with your father? Are we going to see something totally different? See, I don't uh, want to tell you too much yeah, yet. Okay. But um, it's been a very, uh, I think working with Imtia sir is just a very, very enriching experience, you know. You live so truthfully and so wholly the life that he wants you to and the life that he has envisioned for you. And um, I just think that it's a film made with a lot of like dedication and love, you know. And it's based on like what love is in today's day and age. So that's all I'll say right now. But for this generation, what is love arch called? How do you define it? Because our time was very different. Tha. Very different, but I think that every person is different. And I think that's something that, you know, we are trying to talk about amongst other things. But if you ask me, you know, just generally, love is so diverse for different people, you know, I mean, but I think that more than anything in today's day and age, it's just mm, rare also, you know, to some degree. Then placing it in the correct time. But I think balance is key in today's day and age. Whether you're talking to me about romantic love, love for food, love for your friends, love for your career. The idea is to strike balance in general. I agree. And remember to love yourself first because without that, all of it is empty. But as a young girl, are you the one who wears a heart on her sleeve or are you one of those very practical romantics? Uh, I think a very uh, fun combination of both. I know when to use the brain, I know when to use the heart. Brain for everything but my job, heart for my job. Awesome. So, yeah. At Kuli number with Varun, how's that going? It is a dream. Varun Dhawan is a crazy person. And it is just such a blast to work with him. He's such a riot of energy. And you know, especially like in songs, you know, one will see him rehearse and you'll already be scared because it's Varun Dhawan. And then you see him in a take and I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to match that level of energy? But whether it's David Sir or Varun, I mean, it's so encouraging to work with them. It's, it's really been touched with a blast. So as we wrap up, what would you want to steal from your four core stars? Ranveer Singh. Huh. Ranveer Singh, what would I want to steal from Ranveer Singh? His wardrobe. From Sushant. Uh, his collection of books. Karthik. The cream of physics is not my favorite, but uh, <laughs> maybe someone like political science, I'll borrow. <laughs> Karthik. His hair. <laughs> and Varun. I could use some of it. <laughs> Uh, Varun, his energy. And thank you so much. So, how desi at heart are you? Fully. From Besan Laddu to White Chicken Curry, I'm as desi as it gets. Thank you so much, Ara. And well, God bless you. More power to you. Keep thank entertaining you. us. Thank you.